The blood drive had an initial goal of 15 donors, but less than an hour into the event, that goal wasn't just reached, it was more than doubled. Not an empty seat at the Warwick Firefighters Association as dozens of people came out to donate blood in honor of Tollgate Jr. Gianna Sorella. The first donor of the day, Gianna's soccer teammate, Haley Clark. I donated blood for the first time to help her because I just felt like I needed to do whatever I could to help her out. From nurses to donors, the color of the day was purple. Even the typically red bandages used by the blood center were purple, Gianna's favorite. And blood center officials say it's possible Gianna will directly benefit from some of the donations. In fact, she may have already been helped by some of her classmates. Her own high school had a blood drive on Friday the 13th, and by Monday she was needing blood products. So it's very possible uh, because blood takes two days to process before it can actually go to a patient. It's possible that her own high school drive um, that students donated and the faculty donated actually uh, helped her. Gianna's soccer coach says her presence has been missed at practice. It's been a long, hard week for everybody involved. Describing her as kind, hilarious, and hardworking. She's the whole package. She's just a great girl, and uh, and she's a fighter. She's a fighter. And Gianna is winning her uphill battle. Coach Raza says her condition is finally improving, although doctors say Gianna will lose a portion of her leg from the knee down. I'm hoping she gets better and we're able to see her and talk to her very soon. A GoFundMe page to help Gianna's family with medical expenses has taken off, raising more than $50,000 in just two days. I'm Julianne Lima, Eyewitness News.